What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and give me all your takes down below in the comment section. And be on the lookout for the Dodgers Nation word of the day. We're giving out over $1,000 worth of cash and prizes this month. All you have to do is spot that word of the day. It'll flash on the screen at some point during this video. And once you spot that word of the day, all you have to do is go to our About page, email us that word, and you're entered to win. We're giving away over $1,000 worth of cash and prizes. Good luck. Secure that bag, Dodgers Nation. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. Today we're going to talk about Marcus Lynn Betts, or as he's known in the streets, Mookie Betts. Imagine having your initials as MLB and you're one of the best players in the MLB. I'll never be able to get over that. And he's already putting on a show down at Dodger Spring Training at Camelback Ranch down in Arizona. And this guy, you can just tell he makes his teammates better. His work ethic is contagious. He had a big impact on his teammates in year one. I call it the Mookie mentality. We've had the mama mentality in LA for so many years. Well, the Mookie mentality has been rubbing on his teammates Ever since he joined the Los Angeles Dodgers, here's Mookie taking live BP against Walker Buehler and the Dodgers outfielders having some fun. Walker Buehler throwing live BP to Mookie Betts. A healthy hack right there from Mookie. Listen to Chris Brown, Mookie's favorite. Hopefully the Dodgers can run it back this year. Then Mookie took Bueller deep. No footage, but here's him rounding the bases. Doc said put a good swing on a breaking ball. Here's some of the best outfielders on the planet just having fun. Belly under the legs. Matt Beatty right there. Mookie under the legs. We got A.J. Pog making the catch from his knees. Mookie off the glove, into the glove. Coyo push-ups. Belly off the glove, into the glove. Beatty's like, I can hang with these gold glovers. Pog makes the catch sitting down right here. Belly lays out for one and goes, takes a nap right after. So some great hashtag content from the Dodgers team over there, led by Eric Vasquez, Hunter Condo, and Sujo. The whole team over there always pumping out the greatest baseball content in the game. And then Mookie met with reporters yesterday, and he talked about how it kind of sucked that the team wasn't able to celebrate their World Series like a normal season. But he says that just means they have to win it again. You know, we obviously didn't get to celebrate like that, so that's that kind of sucked, but uh, that just means we need to do it again. Um, but you know, this offseason was, uh, was was fun, man. I, mean, you know, I got to enjoy with the family, um, win another ring. You know, can't, uh, can't ever uh, take away that from us. And um, but, you, but we also know that we still need to work and, and prepare for another season. And what I love most about Mookie Betts is this guy is never satisfied. When asked about his 2020 season, he said he had a serviceable year last year. So you got to love that. When a guy that finished second in the NL MVP voting says his year was serviceable. Well, his manager, Dave Roberts, was asked about Mookie's serviceable year in 2020. And here's what he had to say. Man, if, if that, I'll take serviceable then. If that's, if that's what, uh, you know, he classified it as. But, you know... Mookie, like all great players, they expect a lot from themselves. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that he did that were underlying that helped us win baseball games and enhance, you know, the Dodge organization. Um, but I certainly would think it's more than serviceable. Uh, but ultimately, we won a championship, and uh, that was the ultimate goal. Now, you definitely love that mindset for Mookie Betts, the Mookie mentality right there in full effect, but he was definitely more than serviceable in 2020. He slashed 292, 366, 562, was third in all of Major League Baseball with three F war, was 21st in WRC Plus at 149, was seventh in home runs with 16, was fourth in runs scored at 47. Now, in the postseason, he slashed 296, 378, 493, had an 871 OPS, hit two home Home runs had eight doubles but he made some massive plays in the postseason defensively the shoelace catch robbing freddie freeman of that home run look he robbed freddie freeman of that home run then freddie freeman robbed him of the mvp back jumps and he does it again mookie putting his stamp all over the nlcs defensively 
No, I'm just messing around, Freddie Freeman. You deserve that MVP. But had Mookie Betts bat leadoff the entire season, I think that award would have been his. Because when he bat leadoff this year, he slashed 302, 383, 570, had an OPS of 952, hit 13 of his 16 bombs, hitting leadoff. But at the beginning of the season, they were mixing it up, and they had Mookie in the two-hole at times. And when he was batting second, he slashed 255, 300, 532, had an OPS of 832, and almost a quarter of his at-bats this season came when he was batting second. So had he been hitting leadoff the whole year, there's no doubt in my mind that that award would have been his. But he's got like a million years left with the Dodgers to win an MVP and be the first player since Frank Robinson. Robinson to win the award in both leagues. So I'm excited to see what he does hitting leadoff the entire season in 2021. And then he talked about the Dodgers winning culture and if it carried over from last year. I think it's just kind of carried over. I don't, I don't think it uh, needs to be said. I think uh, we kind of see it work. So, you know, <laughs> there wasn't just me though. It, was a lot of, you know, it took everybody. And I think uh, that, that, was a, that was the thing. Everybody kind of bought in and of the culture, and I think uh, that culture is here to stay. And then Betts was asked about the Dodgers having a bullseye on their back this season and his thoughts on the San Diego Padres. Yeah, I mean, we fight so hard to, to get on top, and once you're on top, it's hard to stay. Um, but I think we have a group here that, that's good enough to stay, and we have to, uh, we have to stay hungry. And, uh, you know, I think that's what we're doing. Uh, I mean, I think uh, any big league team is going to you know, push us. Anybody can win at any given time. We know that they're good, uh, but we're good too. And so it's just a good, good battle. And, you know, but like I said, you can't just focus on the Padres. There's, there's a lot of good teams out there. And, uh, we just have to play our game. So I like that. Mookie Betts not getting too carried away with all the San Diego Padres hype. Look, the only team that can keep the Dodgers from winning the World Series this season is the Dodgers. Like Mookie said, they just have to play their game, and I think if they do that, they'll be raising that piece of metal for the second year in a row. And then Mookie was asked about the return of the fine jar. So last year in spring training, Mookie brought a jar for when any time someone made a mistake, any error, you'd put money into that jar. And apparently early on in spring training, there's quite a bit of guys making mistakes out there because there's enough money in that jar to take everyone out to a nice restaurant we, uh, we can we can go to a nice dinner we'll just put it that way. <laughs> So enough money to take everyone out to a nice dinner. You know they're going to Sizzler. Bruh. But shout out to our friends over at AM570 for that Mookie footage right there. But let me know down below in the comments, will Mookie Betts win the MVP this year? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. And is he the best player on the Dodgers? Let me know down below in the comments. Is Mookie Betts the best player on the Los Angeles Dodgers? My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. LA. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. It's the fastest growing Dodgers YouTube channel in the game, so be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see more Dodgers content, smash that like button. We still got the Dodgers Word of the Day Challenge going on. Dodgers Nation is giving away over $1,000 worth of cash and prizes for the entire month of February, so we still have a couple days left, so if you spotted that Word of the Day, hit us up on our YouTube About page, give us that word and you'll be entered to win for all latest dodgers nation merchandise head over to gearup.la some of the best dodgers t-shirt designs in the game you'll find right over there i've got my mookie bets lfg shirt today one of my favorites for all latest dodgers news head over to dodgersnation.com and until next time think blue bleed blue and i'm out